Hi, I'm Dabin Parik. I'm going to demonstrate my technology. It's called CAM, and it's used to collect data from, from paper documents to aggregate them in databases. And this is a, a program that is deployed in India among microfinancing institutions. That's correct, in right? India, yes. Okay, so this is a Nokia phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and how does it work? Right, I can capture a picture of this particular form. So in this case, we're substituting something okay. else. Yeah, that's correct. And so it will automatically launch you through a set of prompts in the local language that essentially guides you through capturing the data from this particular form. So here it's asking for a particular value, which I'll enter. The next value, which is the date. Um, the next value. I'm not able to read time else, so I'm not sure what she the values are. So it gives me a total. And once I press agree to this, it'll capture all of this data, you know, generate an SMS message, and submit it to the server where it'll be stored in the database for reporting and analysis purposes. So this is a voice-activated uh, form scanning kind of an application. And this is because the people who are using this probably have low literacy levels. Uh-huh. Yeah. It, right? it really reinforces their ability to kind of understand what's going on also. The other members in the group can also hear what's going on and feel like they're part of that process too. And it allows us to work in all different kinds of languages which may not have necessarily an um, you know, implementation on the phone for doing script rendering or uh, you know, even having the proper script to, to display. Um, so yeah, it's really useful. Audio really helps us uh, to provide an engaging user experience. So this is an innovative solution deployed in India that can also be extended to other countries where that voice element plays such a strong role when you're doing something. It's like the feedback mechanism. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's correct. It's, the, it's kind of a conversation between the human and the device. The human is asking quite, I mean, the device is asking questions and the human is responding, yeah. All these innovative solutions just from the cell phone, huh? Yeah, the cell phone's an amazing device. Uh, I'm not even sure where it's going to go in the future, but I hope to be there to find out. <laughs> Any other applications you're developing? Um, so yeah, we're using also this mobile phone to do things like organic certification. Um, so we're taking, you know, apply, you know, giving this phone to farms, farm inspectors in Mexico, and they're able to go into the field and, you know, this can actually capture images and audio also. So they can document the condition of the farm, they can document the cultivation practices, all that data can be aggregated in the database and use this supplementary data for supporting the certification process and providing feedback and guidance to farmers. So you don't need a high-end camera, you don't need a videotape, nothing. Just your basic phone with yep. a camera. Yeah, just a camera with a phone. Yeah. What was the first cam? Uh, what was the first phone you had or bought? The first phone I used for this work. No. In my life, uh, I bought a phone. It was a. I don't even remember. It was a long time ago. Probably a Nokia. I, I liked Nokia brand for quite some time, so I probably bought a Nokia a while ago. And is this your uh, basic phone now? This is your primary phone. This is a 6600. I use this one in India. I actually have an N80 that I use in the states. So. N80. Yeah. Okay, so you have high-end phones. I do have a high phone. I I get them from my research companions and partners. And you teach at Berkeley. That's correct. And what do you teach at Berkeley? I teach user interface design. I teach. Uh, introduction to rural computing, computing for development. Um, I teach a seminar class related to information systems for agriculture and microfinance. So totally different from what IT courses, I mean when you think of IT courses, right. you know, think of data systems mm -hmm. and system architecture and things like that. Right. So this is real world application of technology. Yeah, moving much more towards the user and application side of computer science, which is really what drives me and what I enjoy to do. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Uh, hopefully doing the same kind of work at the same level. I don't want to slow down. So. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, great. Thanks.